stunning day, blue sky, fresh air. Just so good. We need to make a flat platform for the tent. So normally two people work together. You've got a digger and a stomper. The stomper comes in through and makes a flat platform and we work our way back. Just leave it for 10 minutes and let it solidify. Six. And then when we come to put our tent on there, it'll pegs will go in pretty good. I'm going to dig my platform and it's going to look exactly like these two. It's going to look better. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, what are you doing to me, Karen? If anyone is thinking they want to go snow camping and just snowshoeing a go in the back country in alpine areas, I always recommend get yourself a guide, go with people who know what they're doing and they'll teach you like my amazing friends here. Another absolutely cracking day on the main range of Kosciuszko up behind Threadbow in the Australian Alps. It got down last night to about minus 12 with the wind chill, minus seven without. We were toasty warm inside our tents. And today we're just doing a little day trip up to Townsend and back. Honestly, if you can hike, if you can bushwalk, if you can walk, you can snowshoe. It doesn't take very long to get the knack of it. And the modern snowshoes make it actually super easy. So what really is a modern snowshoe? As you can see, they don't look anything like the old tennis rackets of the past, and they're a lot easier to use. You open up all of the straps across the top, so you've got a nice bed to put your foot in. Make sure you've got the right and the left. Do you know which one you're on? And you simply put your foot into the snowshoe. Make sure there's enough gap here so as you walk your toe can push down into that hole. If it's up there, that's not going to work for you. So back here and the ball of your foot right there. And then it's just simply a matter of taking the straps and doing them up. we go. My toe can move into the hole, my heel is nice and free, and you just have to go in. Just with a little bit of a wider gate. Now the other thing to look at, and one thing you do want to look for if you're getting snowshoes and hiring them, is get them with this heel lift bar. So what that does is when you're going up a steep hill, you flick the bar up, it locks you heel higher and it makes climbing up big steep hills much much easier. What are you wearing on your feet right now? Uh, Ugg boots <laughs> and they are wonderful. So these are genuine everyday Ugg boots? Yeah, branded. So what are you having for dinner Joe? Deb and cheese and taco mix. It's gonna be good. Deb cheese taco mix, that sounds like food of gods. Yes. Nice and warm, nice and warm. To wake up with this, having slept really well, toasty and warm. 
and there's not a sound. It's absolutely amazing. The more experienced amongst us who just go ultra lightweight, there's his boot box down there. This is my friend Warwick's. The only other tip I wanted to share was about using your poles exactly in the same technique as you would hiking poles. So that's about using the diagonally opposite arm to the leg. And rather than planting the pole miles out in front, that's going to burn a lot of energy, you just want to plant it beside your body, nice and tight, pretty much in line with your back heel. That way, you're keeping your energy all in the centre, you're not extending yourself too much, and you've got that nice diagonal even flow, and before you know it, crunch, 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 you get in a great rhythm that you could just keep going all day. Oh, well it's a bit sad to be heading back home now today, but it has been an incredible trip here. Now we have had some amazing weather these last few days. It's not always like that. Checking the weather conditions is super important because the temperatures, the wind, the changeability, the snow, it can actually be pretty dangerous up here. So make sure you go with someone who knows what they're doing. Take a guide or go with some mates who can teach you the ropes. Make sure you're well prepared. You've got everything you need. So that T-R-E-K of Trek totally stands here. Take what you need, register your intentions, E for emergency beacon and K, know your route and stick to it. Well, I think I'm gonna head on down and see if I can get myself a nice glass of mulled wine.